to go Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow Hi friends and family, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, bienvenidos, my name is Joanna. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how to make one of my favorite Vietnamese snacks, but unfortunately I cannot pronounce the name of it, so I'm calling them Vietnamese green waffles, or otherwise Phan Thang coconut flavored waffles. They are delicious. I feel like their pretty green color is very festive and perfect for the holidays, and I just feel like the snack is something that can be enjoyed year round, so I'm going to be leaving all the ingredients, measurements, as well as substitutions down in the description box, but before I continue rambling off, let's get started. To make the batter, we'll need an egg that's been well beaten, and to the same mixing bowl, add some coconut milk to infuse the waffles with a really pleasant flavor along with some coconut oil and a bit of pandan extract, which is a bit like vanilla in aroma, but with a really rich nutty flavor. Whisk this together and before I forget, let's also sweeten the batter by adding some sugar and continue whisking until smooth. To add the dry ingredients, place a sifter over the bowl and add some all-purpose flour, some rice flour which is going to make the waffles really crispy, and some tapioca starch that's going to give the waffles a slight chewy texture, along with some baking powder and a pinch of salt. Then gently shake or pat the sifter until all of the dry ingredients have passed through. All we have to do now is mix everything together gently. We really want to avoid over mixing this batter because we don't want too much gluten to develop. Too much gluten development would make our waffles tough and we don't want that. So once you have a smooth liquid batter with a few small lumps in it without any white streaks, you've mixed enough. To make things a little easier later on, I transferred the batter into a pourable container and I'm going to let it rest while we preheat the waffle maker. I'm using this waffle maker today and since I want the waffles to be crispy on the outside, I'm setting it to the highest setting. Once your waffle maker is ready, it's time to cook the waffles. Every waffle maker is slightly different, so follow your unit's instruction manual on whether or not you need to spray it with oil. For this unit, I don't have to, so I'm going to add the batter to the center of the waffle maker. We want to spread the batter out evenly so most of the waffle mold ridges are covered, but while being careful not to overfill it. Once the unit is filled with enough batter, close the upper lid and allow it to steam for about 5 minutes. You'll notice that a lot of steam is released during the cooking process and as tempting as it can be to check it, avoid opening the lid before it's done cooking. Cooking time will vary depending on the waffle maker you have, but a good indicator that it's done is when it's no longer steaming. Once the cooking time is up, open the unit and carefully transfer the coconut and pandan flavored waffle to a cooling rack. It's going to be really hot. Repeat this process until you've run out of the batter. Thanks to the pandan and coconut infused batter, these waffles smell amazing while the flavor combination of the sweet earthy nuttiness of the pandan is a perfect complement to the coconut. Using the two different flours along with the tapioca starch makes these waffles have a wonderfully crispy exterior while having a soft, fluffy, and chewy interior. You can enjoy them plain like this, but around the holiday season in our home, we like to serve them dusted with some powdered sugar, some whipped cream, and some strawberries. And for a little Mexican twist, we also like to drizzle on some cajeta, which is a type of Mexican dulce de leche similar to caramel sauce. And top it all off with some shredded coconut for a very festive treat, perfect for the holidays or really any time of the year. Coconut pandan flavored waffles are enjoyed by many Vietnamese families. Their delicious flavor combination and unique texture make these waffles really something special. I hope this recipe inspires you to try these and have fun in the kitchen. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to join our wonderful Fusion family. And for video notifications, don't forget to click the little bell icon that looks something kind of like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Suerte! If you're not ready, just go, you need to give me something sweet in the morning. It's always uh, <laughs> toast and oatmeal. <laughs> oatmeal. We're only around the holidays, honey. Should be every day. No, not every day. Definitely not every day. <laughs> Más cajeta. You want more cajeta? Más cajeta. Sí. <laughs> yeah, no. And boy. Mm -hmm. Are you in my seat? Hi, everyone.